unfortunately, many of us get these little broken capillaries on our face from aging and the sun, not using sunscreen. It used to be dangerous to remove them, but there's new hope for these blood vessel blemishes. Seven's Alexis Rivera shows us how new laser is being used for a face fix. Darlene Stokes has always liked her skin, but the small spider veins on her face really bothered her. Like a dark purple color, and they were over on both sides of my face here. I was conscious of them, so I would cover them with makeup. For years, she wanted to get rid of the ugly veins. I had asked about getting injections in them, and I was told, no, I couldn't get the injections in my face. Sclerotherapy, which is an injectable solution, is the gold standard when it comes to getting rid of spider veins on the legs, but not when it comes to facial veins. Sclerotherapy on the face is really a no-no. If, uh, if the sclerosin gets into the wrong veins, it can cause some major problems. Dr. Adam Groper of North Beach Vascular is using a new laser called the Cutera XLV to zap facial veins. The laser hits the tiny veins with pulses of light energy. It damages the vein permanently and a lot of the veins you'll see actually just disappear when you when you hit them. And Dr. Groper says there is less chance for complications with this laser. It has the ability to cool the skin. I think it's it's safer in terms of likelihood of getting burning or blistering. The laser erased Darlene's facial veins. It came out beautifully. Immediately the veins were gone and by the next day there wasn't even any redness. The laser can also be used to get rid of smaller, hard to treat spider veins on the legs. And it's even being used to treat brown spots on the face. The cost for the laser is about $350 and patients will have to stay out of the sun for a couple of weeks. For more information, just head to our website, WSVN.com and click on medical. In the Plex, Alexis Rivera, 7 News.